Hey there, this is Tyler with the PaperCut support team. In this video, we'll cover the process of installing the PaperCut user client on a machine running Linux. For this demonstration, we'll be using Ubuntu since it's the most common Linux distribution available. Regardless of your build though, these steps should work for you. Our first step is going to be to install the Java runtime on this machine. You can choose whichever JRE you'd like, but Adopt Open is a good option if you're not sure where to start. I use the steps on adoptopenjdk.net, which are pretty easy to follow. Once we get their app repository added up, we can just install it using a standard apt-get command. Once you have Adopt Open installed, we'll get to work copying the client files over to your machine. There are a couple of foundational steps we'll need to take here. First, we'll create a mount point for the shared folder that contains the client info. Next, we'll create a folder for the client data to be stored on the Linux machine. Finally, if you're using a Windows SMB connection, you might need to install the SIFS Utils app, which is for common internet file systems. Now that we've gotten the machine ready to connect to the PaperCut server, we can get the shared folder mounted to the Linux machine. Even if there are no restrictions to the SMB share, you'll still need to supply a username and password to successfully mount the folder. You can do this with the dash "-o", parameter for the mount command. Once we have that folder mounted, you can copy the data into the file that we created earlier. First, cd into the mounted drive. Next, use the cp command to move the contents into our designated folder. Finally, we'll just need to allow the client app to execute on our machine. We can do this by changing into the apps directory and using the following command. It's usually best to get this app added up to your startup applications list, so it opens right away when a user logs into the machine. To do this on Ubuntu, you'll need to open up the Startup Applications Manager utility. We'll click Add and give our startup process a useful name. Next, we'll click the Browse button next to the Script Name field and navigate to the folder that we copied the client to. Select the PC Client Linux Shell script and hit OK. Give your computer a restart and you should be good to go. You may be prompted to sign into your PaperCut account if your Linux username doesn't match your PaperCut username. Your user client is now installed and ready to use on your Linux machine. If you have any other questions about getting your Linux clients up and running or anything else regarding your PaperCut system, head over to www.papercut.com support. There you'll find tons of helpful knowledge base articles and manual entries, and if you need to reach out to us directly, you can contact us through that page. Thanks for watching and have a great day.